All right, welcome back to another session of Pelotech 101. Today we're going to go through change out of the Quadrifier Loop Igniter. So I'm working with a Classic Bay 1200i, the, the 1200 insert. Most of the Quadrifiers, Castile, Santa Fe, Contour 1200, will be similar. The igniter is going to be located right beneath the burn pot. So we are going to lift this up to be able to access the ash area. I'm just going to pull that ash drawer out of here. And that exposes our igniter area. So the igniter is essentially held inside of a cradle here, right at the bottom base of that burn pot. And we have a wing nut over here that we loosen up. And sometimes this wing nut can be tight, so feel free to soak that down with a little WD-40 uh, or some PV blaster to bust that loose. But once we have that loose, the igniter basically is able to slide in and out of this. So we're just going to pull that all the way out there. And then as we follow those wire leads back, our igniter lead wires right here come to the two black lead wires. So we're simply going to pull these apart. I'm gonna prop the phone up here so that we can see that process. So it does not matter which wire connects to which regarding the quadrifier igniter here. But once we have that disconnected, and then we are able to fish the igniter wires through this way to be able to pull the igniter all the way out. So when we're putting in the replacement igniter, we'll start it that same way. We'll go down from inside over here. And we will get those igniter wires fish through that hole just below the intake. I'm going to go back over here. There's one through. Second one. There we go. So I'm gonna just pull this right from there. Get back down here again. And it's not the best camera, kind of a difficult angle here, but just wanted to be able to show the basics So we slide that in. So the wing nut is essentially going to hold it exactly where it needs to be. We don't need to crank that down, we can just snug that up. I'll also link this video to the igniter ohm video. So it's always good practice to be able to check the ohms on the igniter to see if it's an operable range or if it's out. Now keep in mind that during the startup cycle, this igniter is going to get an electrical charge. So we'll see this loop igniter basically turn cherry red. But it is the air that is rushing around that igniter that is lighting our fire. So in the event that our igniter is in proper range ohm-wise, but we're not getting ignition, we absolutely want to check the position, the installation placement of the igniter. And then uh, we want to double check the burn pot. We want to make sure that the burn pot itself, all of the holes are free, open, and clear inside the burn pot. And then from there, we absolutely want to uh, be able to check uh, our door gasket, make sure that that's making a nice tight seal all the way around. Uh, any air loss or air blockages can affect that ignition cycle. So anyway, just a side note there. But now that I have the igniter back in place here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull these wires all the way through. I don't need any slack that's underneath there. And again, we are just going to connect these uh, back together. Uh, it does not matter which wire connects to which. We just want to make sure they're nice and uh, secure and snug right there. And a lot of times there's a wire tie that secures these wires right here. So if there is a wire tie, let's make sure that these wires are secure out of the way. Uh, keep them nice and uh, secure and wrapped up back there. And that is the basics on replacing a loop igniter 
inside of a quadrifier pellet stove. Any questions, leave us a comment in the video below. We're always happy to assist. Thanks so much for joining us for another session of Pellet Tech 101.